Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to cut and apply an interface on this captain suit. When we talk about interface, uh, yeah, we can call it uh, club gum or uh, hair stay. But one thing is that uh, this interface it has two faces. Normally, the interface do have two faces. It has the rough edge and also the smooth edge. The rough edge is the place that contains the interface or the, that contains the gum, so to say. So, uh, and I'm going to start by cutting it. I will cut it one after the other. I'm going to cut the front panel of this interface uh, of the captain suit with the interface. I'll be tracing it one after the other. The reason is that uh, since the front of the, the front panel of the captain suit, they are not equal, so we need to get each one of it, the size and the height. So I'm going to place it this way, this for one. Now I want you to note something. This is the wrong side of the fabric. This is the wrong side of the fabric. And this is the place that contains the interface. So I'll be using the wrong side to place on top of the place that contains the interface or the gum. So uh, we align it very well before uh, we cut it out. So remember I said that I'm cutting it one after the other. Reason is that the interface, the pardon me, the front panel of the captain suit, they are not equal. The the right hand side is longer than the left hand side. So because of that, we'll be cutting it one by one. So I have just placed this. Though if you check here, yeah, the the interface did not cover up. Let me show you. If you should check here, it did not cover up on this area. So there is no problem. The, 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 we, are, we are looking at the main concern is the front area, to get the front area. But on the side, even if the side did not get to this point, uh, there is no problem with that. So I'm going to cut out the right side. This is the right side of the right side of the captain suit. The front side, the front panel is the right side. I'm going to cut it out first. Thereafter, I uh, will now cut the left hand side and also cut the inner facings. So I uh, will cut right now. So I just finished cutting the right side of the front panel. So I will push this one by the side, keep it by side. Then I will bring out the interface again. I'm going to align the left hand side on the interface also to cut it out. So this is the left hand side, this is the left hand side of our interface and if you should look at here you will find out that here is the wrong side so uh, just as I said you will place the wrong side lying on the, 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 place, the, the, the place that contains the interface or the gun. So this is how I'm going to place it. So I 
I'm cutting it out. this side so this is the left hand side just finish cutting out the left hand side so what i will cut next is the inner facing just as i cut the 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 front panel one by one i will also cut the inner face one by one because the inner facing they are not also equal these are the inner facing i will place the inner facing one after the other to cut it out and this is the wrong side i will now use it to face to place it to face on the interface itself remember i said the place with you know, that has the rough edge is the place that has the interface the rough edge surface is the place that has the interface so that's the place you will use the wrong side to place on top So I'm done cutting this. I will now introduce the the other side of the inner facing. I introduce the other side of the inner facing, which is this. And this is the other side of the inner facing. So this is all about the cutting of the interface. The, so I'm going to be applying the interface. This is the two inner facing and this is the two front panel. So I'm checking it to the table, ironing table, to start applying the interface on the fabric. Let's move right now to the table. I'm right now at my ironing table so uh, I will take it one after the other while placing it you make sure that uh, you get the whole edge of the table Actually, I will start from the this side to iron to go upward. It's quite, it's quite unfortunate that the camera cannot get the full, full, uh, the full front panel from this table. So, but I will be adjusting it. I'll be adjusting it from the up. I'll be adjusting it. So, I will start to apply the interface. Or before I commence, I will look for another fabric. Just get a cotton fabric, a pure cotton. So you place it on top of it so that it will help you to easy your 
your gumming uh, by applying it you it will be easy for you to apply so while applying the interface make sure that you you fully gum one side before you now move to another side make sure that one side you dwell on one side make sure that that side is fully gummed before you now proceed to the next stage i'll be using this and one of the inner facing to illustrate this i will not be showing the full the two uh this thing oh le uh, let me show it in case of if there should be any any confusion about it so this one is fully gummed so what i will do i will pull it this side and uh, i will continue i will shift my fabric the cutting fabric upward and i will not dwell on that side to make sure that that area too is fully gummed before i will now proceed to the next point So I want you to stay to the end of this video, this applying, stay to the end of it because I will be showing something at the end of it, how to apply, I will be showing how to apply that of the chest pad, that of the chest pad, I will be showing how to apply it at the end of the video, of this uh, applying of the interface on the body or the front panel of the kaftan suits so you can see how i'm adjusting it to make sure that the side i gummed is fully gummed there is a way you will gum it or you apply it it will be an issue issue in, some, in, in the sense that it will not gum when you touch it it will look as if there is air inside between the interface and the fabric so if you if if you try to apply the interface on the fabric and after apply you now find out that there is air in between the in between the interface and the fabric you have to know that you did not apply that area you saw it very accurately so what you need to do is to go back to your ironing table and get your get the iron and reapply it so that that air you are observing there we we go out
so I'm done I'm done applying on this so you can see how it is so this is good so what I will do next after the applying you, you, you can see the excess excess interface at the edge or this excess interface so i will use my scissors to trim them off so that this excess interface will be out it will not be on the fabric so that's the next thing to do so this for this i'm done with uh, applying of this so i will now move to the next one so this is the next one this is the next uh, front panel i want to apply the interface now see how I am applying it being careful and following it there is no need to be rushing about it you don't need to rush what's the point of rushing after rushing say you want to apply and uh, you now apply it finish and find out that it did not apply well it's still the same time you will still waste so why not take your time it's better you take your time to apply this I'm done applying this so I will now move to the inner facing 
these are the two inner facing of the of the front panel These are the two inner facing, so I will place it. I place it this way. I'm done with this. Remember I said the excess interface, I'm going to trim them off. So I will get the last one. So I'm done applying in this interface on this uh, on the in inner facing. So what I'm going to do is to apply the interface for the chest part. So you can see that I have trimmed of the excesses of the the excess interface on the edge of this uh, the front panel and that of the inner facing you can see it so the excess uh, interface has been trimmed off so what are we now face is the to pad the chest with my interface i during the introduction of the working material there was a stronger optical interface which i i introduced that we'll be using it for the chest part uh, 
warden for the padding of the chest, but rather will be making use of the thicker interface. So this is the this is the thicker interface I'll be making use of. I'll be making use of this thicker interface. How do I cut it? I uh, will align this here. I'm going to align it on this area then I will cut it so if you should apply a little force on it it just be cutting on it one so now what I need just one I cut it into two that's one on this side and one on the other side So I will now apply it. Now there is something I want you to note is that uh, this interface, the the place containing the interface is, it has a kind of mirror face. It's shining, it's shining. It has a shining uh, surface. It has a shining surface. So the place that is shining. I uh, have the shining surface is the is the place with the interface so why the other side doesn't have an interface on it so the place you will be placing on the fabric is the place that has the shining surface So I'm done applying this. You can see that we have a little excess here. I trim it out. So this is it. I will now get the opposite side and also apply the same interface. I'm cutting out the excess. So this is all about the cutting and applying of the interface of this captain suit. So what are we? The next class we move into is cutting and sewing of the dart, which is a chest dart of this safari or uh, pardon me of this kaftan suit so we cut we cut the dart for it and we saw it that on our next class thank you very much god bless you and see you again in our next class god bless you